everyone. Welcome back to 5 Minute Monarchs. I'm Miss Becky and today we are going to see and talk about what happens after the caterpillar is done growing and moves into its chrysalis form. It is a magical experience, friends, I promise you. So after our caterpillar friends are fully grown, they go on a little mission to seek out a place, a safe space for them to form their chrysalis. Usually uh, you can find these chrysalis on the underside of bushes or um, small shrubs, plants. Sometimes if your garden or the milkweed is close to like a picnic bench or your deck, you might find a chrysalis hanging underneath your deck. Uh, but they look for a really good spot and then they get to work spinning and creating what is called a silk pad. Here I have two chrysalis where the butterflies have already grown and emerged and we have released them. But you can see how this silk pad attaches to the chrysalis and it's really strong material because it's got to hold them up safely for like 10 to 14 days. Once our caterpillar friends have their silk pads just the way they want them, just right, they will connect themselves upside down. They put their bottoms up on the silk pad and hang upside down. And it looks like a certain letter of the alphabet when they're hanging this way. Do you know what letter that looks like? The letter J, that's right. The caterpillar will hang in that J shape until it's ready to begin the pupation process. And when that happens, you'll know it's about to happen because the J will stretch out and their antenna will start to shrivel up and their exoskeleton will split and the magic really starts to begin. just the most amazing thing to see. It is incredible. I will never get tired of experiencing a caterpillar move into chrysalis. The way their exoskeleton splits and they wiggle out of their final shedding of their skin and they form this beautiful, perfect green pod. Amazing. Do you all see that tiny little black stem piece that's between the silk pad and the green chrysalis? You do? Oh good. That piece is called the cremaster and it has an important job too. It has to keep that chrysalis connected to the silk pad, whether it's super windy out or a thunderstorm and rain or something comes and bumps into wherever that caterpillar's chrysalis is hanging, it has to keep it connected to that silk pad. And that's it, friends. That is where our caterpillar will remain in chrysalis while it goes through metamorphosis. Oh, that's another big fancy monarch word. So. Join me next Friday as we explore a little more about monarchs and their life cycle. I'll see you then.